Hello my loves and welcome to today's swimwear haul slash I really wanted to do a video that described um, how this is my personal opinion how I feel like we can really emphasize our body shapes with swimwear so perhaps pieces that would suit different body shapes and types. Now obviously I'm going to be modeling them and I have a certain body shape and type now I just want to say disclaimer it's your body, do what you want with it, wear what you feel most comfortable in. But if you are after some help, some advice from someone who feels like they know what they're talking about, <laughs> then I would love to just help you guys today in feeling a little bit more confident in your swimwear because it is one of them things you want to feel good in. And it's one of them things as women we typically don't always feel good in and don't always feel our best in. So there's a few little pointers and little tips that are probably drop in throughout the video that just I think have made me feel more comfortable in swimwear varying from when I've been a size 8 to like a size 14 um, and it's not always been about size it's been about how you feel internally and how you feel about yourself so with that said there's definitely ways we can um, just enhance our natural body shape and type with clothing with swimwear with yeah, our wardrobes. So I wanted to like sprinkle that in the video as well as doing a bit of a review of the swimwear pieces. If you've got a summer holiday coming up, like this is the video for you. So if you're excited, hit that thumbs up. If you're new, hello, hi, welcome, I'm Katie and let's get into today's video. Just a disclaimer before we get into today's video is a sponsored haul from Ratita, but as you guys will know, I've done a few hauls with Ratita and I always give my honest feedback on each and every piece. Some things can be hit, some things can be missed. It's just the way it is and that's why I do the shopping for you and I give you my honest feedback. So we're gonna start off with body shapes. Now I'm gonna talk about my body shape first. Now I am tall, however I'm quite curvy. And we talked about this in a previous video and I didn't wanna say bottom heavy because why can we not call it top light? It's very silly and these terms we use, they're very like generic and we've probably never even thought about them or how they actually make us think or feel internally. Um, so I just wanted to bring that sort of awareness into the, the, the context of the words you use, how you speak about yourself, how you speak about your body, how you speak about your shape, your size, everything. It's really, really important to address that first because without addressing how you speak to yourself, you're never gonna love yourself or like yourself or, you know, feel happy with yourself and who you are. So that's something I can go into in another video. If you guys are interested, please do let me know. It's something I've worked really hard on, having come from having lots of eating disorders and um, just like a really unhealthy relationship with my body, with food for years. I feel like I'm in such a good place. And I say five years nearly out the other side, feeling much more happy and confident and in love with how I look after myself and appreciate what my body does for me rather than just constantly berating it, which is what I used to do. And I know a lot of women do. So if that's you, let me know and we will definitely get that sorted because we don't want to live our lives like that. Bikinis can be very, very flattering on a lot of figures. Now, even if we have cellulite, because yes, welcome to the world, 90 something percent of women have cellulite, it's normal. Get over it, it's not a problem. It's not something you did wrong. It's just life, like it's just part of being a woman. So please just learn to accept it rather than fix eight on something that is so unimportant. So yeah, I'm gonna go with a bikini first. Obviously swim, suits or one pieces if you're American um they are typically the most I say comfortable swimwear to wear because we feel more comfortable in it but it definitely does depend on what area we're feeling conscious of or a bit like maybe we've not learned to accept yet so just bearing all those things in mind we'll talk through a few different swimsuits and yeah <laughs> I feel that there's so much I can say on this topic I just want to get into the swimwear so one thing I did notice on the website was that I couldn't really find anything low rise and high rise isn't necessarily the most flattering on my body shape. I don't know why it just doesn't do me the world of favors and you'll see what I mean um, when I try this on. I can make it look good by sort of contorting my body into different ways and showing you it on the camera but I'm not gonna do that today because I just want this to be really honest and really real. Um, 
a halter is really good for my shape and also the sweetheart style neckline is a little bit more open, a little more plunging, but not like... I also find for my breast type, I guess the right word is, um, that the more triangle shape, the better. If I wear a bra, for example, that's like a balconette under there, it just sort of makes my boobs sort of like sit here like a shelf, or like really under my chin. I just don't really like that look. If you're wanting to enhance your cleavage, they can be really good for that. But for me personally, I just don't like that look. I'd, I would rather them look a little bit small um, in something like this style. So I'll pop this on and we'll talk it through. Okay, so here we are with this shape um, <laughs> swimwear. Now I think initially from front on, it looks fine. But what I do find is it just doesn't really do anything for like this lower part of my body. My lower part of the body honestly does look better, even though it goes wider, if I wear something lower down. I don't know if you can see any difference in that or not. But I would wear something that goes on the hips. So, I don't know if you can see that difference that that just made as well from me taking that down to taking it up. So what I'm saying is, if I cut something straight here, and I cut it straight here. This is like my widest part. This is like very seven, uh, 70s, 90s, low rise sort of era. It's not really a good vibe. However, if I just about lift that there, it's creating a lot smaller look of an illusional waist. I don't know if you can see it, I hope you can. Um, so I would suggest, if you are similar shape to me, wearing something mid rise, to low rise is much more flattering than wearing high rise. I think high rise really, really suits quite curvy figures or very, very slim figures. So the extreme ends of the scale, I don't think it's flattering on my body shape and type. I just think it really, if anything, just emphasizes this sort of small protruding area that as women we all have, ready to give birth to babies. Um, so, as much as I'd love this as a swimsuit set, I would say this is not the most flattering on a hourglass. I would say this is much more suited to a um, athletic type, even if you don't have the biggest bust, I think it looks great. And you can adjust these, so you could actually adjust them. It gives a little bit of lift to what is there. There are pads in the bra as well, the, sorry, the bikini top as well, so you can add them in. Um, and we'll just show you it from the back as well, so you can see the full, swim suit i actually do really love the detail on this i think it's really really lovely and for me i am definitely going to keep the top i'm just going to swap out the bottoms for some black ones of my own and i think this would look absolutely great on my figure if you also are a bit like i said a bit curvier this would look great on a bigger bust and bigger here i don't know what it is i just think this this like i'm this in between middle and it just doesn't work on my body shape and type. Now what I want to do is I want to show you what I was saying earlier about the balconette and how that makes a difference to like the shape of my boobs. And you'll see this and you'll just be like, that is such a difference. So this is basically going to give me an innocent boob lift. They're going to be under my chin and they look like this. <laughs> I just know. Um, and like I said, they didn't have any low rise bottoms that I could find. So these are Again, a high rise bottom, not something I would typically go for. Um, I would much prefer something that like tied up on the hips and I could adjust myself. But we're gonna try it on and see how we go. I also just wanted to show you, whilst I'm wearing the black though, this lovely cover up um, that I also picked up from them. I think is just dreamy and perfect for just chucking on, just to go down to the beach. And it's also a little bit sexy too. So let's have a little try. And yes, I know this is gonna be lush. This is lush. Really, really, really love this. So it's just got these like three cut up bits on the side, but from the front it looks super classy. On the side, we've got a little bit sexy. I'm thinking this with like a nice straw hat for the beach, nice beach bag. I have picked up two little beach bags from them. However, this one is super small, so I'd definitely keep this for more of an evening bag. But how sweet would this be with like a little white dress? have actually got a little white dress that I'm going to pair it with a bit later just to show you. And I think this, again, is a lovely little, like, everyday bag, but probably a little bit too small for a beach bag. I was thinking it'd be much bigger. Um, but I just wanted to show you them really quickly. So, yeah, straw hat. I'm thinking a nice big straw bag. 
and some sandals. Um, this is gonna look expensive, sexy, but also just like covered. So it's like classy, sexy. It's like, so you know, you know, you guys know, if you're not new, that's my vibe. Classy and sexy. We just wanna keep it looking as good as we can. And this is, I think a size medium or large. This is a medium and for reference, I'm a UK size 12. Five foot nine and the length on this is splendid. It's literally just touching my toes. So yeah, really love this. And it's not super sheer, which I thought it would be. So it's kind of a little bit more covered, a little bit more acceptable. Do you know, just pop on whilst you're on your holidays. Maybe you want to go for like lunch, but it's a beach bar and you're just between the sea, that kind of vibe. Let me know what you guys think of this one down below. And this is going to be great for all body shapes and types, this one. Okay, so I feel like the old me would have loved this because I used to be anything back in the day for a bit of a plunge. However, it's just not my vibe anymore. I don't love it anymore. So this is perfect for if you're needing a bit of an uplift and you want a bit of an uplift, or if you've got a slightly bigger bust. I'm wearing a size medium, and as you can see, it's, it's just like pull on, it's stretchy, it's got adjustable straps. Um, it's really, really flattering. The only thing I don't really love is you can see the underneath of the white a little bit. I kind of just wish they'd continued that pattern underneath just to like make it a little bit more expensive looking. However, this is a really beautiful bikini. It's a really beautiful color. I think this is much more suited to maybe like size 12 to 14, that kind of figure. I think it's going to really, really flatter. Again, with the, with the high-waisted, they're not like super high-waisted up here that it's going to, for me, like that sticks in, that sticks out. It's not actually that high, it's a little bit lower. So I'm, I'm liking this a little bit more on me. Um, however, still, like I said, it's not what I would go for. I would typically go for a just lower rise. It's just much more suited to my body shape. I do think you could wear this at most shapes and sizes. Um, I'd probably say straighter line bodies because you, you get the lift and it's going to be flattened around here but also pear-shaped bodies because it's giving you a bit of boob. Also, I'm not trying to think of all the other ones, like what's an apple-shaped body? It's like just rounder in the middle. I actually think that'll be great. This will be great for that as well. I do really like it. Um, yeah, and if I tighten these straps, I'm gonna get that full lift because it has got like a quite a little bit of padding in there and that's gonna lift them up and give you like that busty look. Um, so I'm just gonna pop a little cover up over again. Picked up this like linen style white shirt. I think these are absolutely an essential for summer. I love them. Just make them like any little thing. Look at that, just like really elevates it, makes it look a little bit more classy. Could roll the sleeves up a little bit. And I just think if you're feeling ever so slightly conscious, really nice way to just pop that over. It's avoiding any of that like, you know, just, it's just making me feel better. And it's a really nice, easy way to just elevate a bikini. You just look, it's like one of them chic, sophisticated summer essentials, I think. Um, and this is actually a really, really nice one. It's a lovely length, it's long enough that it's like basically a dress, but also could be tucked into some high-waisted trousers, perhaps worn, you know, rolled up and tied like this. Lots of, very, lots of ways to wear this, but I really do like it. You could even wear it like in an evening, turn it into a little crop top with some nice white trousers. So for your holidays or with some denim shorts, very, very versatile. And this one comes in a one size. So I'd say this would probably fit up to a size 16. Yeah, I'd probably say this fits up to a size 16. Let me know what you think of this one, how you think this is as a bikini, and if you're sort of understanding my theory on <laughs> bikinis and how to wear them for different shapes and sizes. Now I'm going to move on to swimsuits. I do actually still have another two piece, but it's a quite a different one. So actually, no, let's talk about that one first. We'll talk about this one. This is going to be great if you're a little bit conscious perhaps of cellulite that like we spoke about earlier. We don't need to be conscious of it. It's not an important thing in life and 90 something percent of women have it. So it's really not something we need to be conscious of. But if for any reason you are, this is gonna be a little wonder for you. So it's a bikini bottom inside a skirt. So it's gonna cover that area, 
where typically we hold the most cellulite. For me, I actually have cellulite in the bottom of my stomach, bottom of my bum, the bottom of my thighs, sorry, the top of my thighs. And then again, we've got this lovely, this one isn't super plungy as this one is. This one's got padding and plunge. This has a thin amount of padding, but it's not gonna be as plungy, I don't think. And I really like the color of this, so let's try this on. Okay, this is a really lovely color, very good um, on the bust area. So just for reference, I wear a medium. I am a cup. I vary between the 34C and the 32D in my bust area because as I hope you know, as women, we fluctuate all the time. Um, the skirt is coming up a little bit tight as in like it's pushing a little bit out here, not a lot, but it is. Um, so just bear that in mind as well. Like I said, I normally wear a size 12. So maybe you'd want to consider sizing up to a large on the skirt, just for like the way it's sitting. I'm just going to show you. So it's got like the pants underneath, they're completely built in with this. And then you can adjust this to make it a little bit shorter. It's quite cute, it's quite fun, it's quite flirty, um, but it's also a little bit more covered up. If that just makes you feel better, just do what makes you feel comfortable. This I think is going to be honestly flattened on all shapes and types, shapes, <laughs> shapes and body types. Um, I do really like this one. If your stomach's not an area you're super comfortable with, let's talk swimsuits because obviously the stomach is still out. Um, I do also have this little cover up here that I just wanted to pop on over this because I do feel like with the blue underneath it's gonna look really beautiful. And it does. <laughs> um, I really like this. Oh, it does just close, that's fab. I was hoping it just closed. Um, so. This is obviously just a very easy beach cover up for every day. Really pretty. I probably would prefer this with like a little white bikini underneath, but I don't actually have one. So <laughs> we're just gonna go with the blue, but really beautiful. It's nice and midi length, perfect for all shapes and sizes. Um, just the perfect easy cover up, especially if you're like getting a little bit hot, wanna put something over your shoulders, but you don't wanna get hotter by putting something like a t-shirt on this is always a nice alternative again something nice to cover up if you're going for lunch um really nice detail on this it's like a very thin linen style material i like the way it ties up but you don't obviously have to do it tied up you could just leave it undone um as a nice just little you know pop it pop you over <laughs> I do like this, but yeah, let's get on to the swimsuits because I'm excited to share them with you um, and talk about the sort of tummy control areas that they have in these swimsuits. Now we're talking. This for me is the most flattering swimsuit of all. Now, even if you haven't got the biggest bust, you can pull it around and it's going to give you that little bit of uplift that you might want or need. This is super flattering. The shape of this is giving the illusion of a smaller waist because of the shape of the fit of the swimsuit. I love the polka dot, it's very classic. Um, it has got adjustable pads. Yes, you could definitely take the pads out because they are, you can move them. Um, I just think this is super flattering. This is gonna be the best for all body shapes and all body types. So if you're unsure, I'd say go for something like this. I don't want anyone with a bigger bust to be put off by this because the top is adjustable. So if you've got a bigger bust and you think, well, I can't have my back out like that, you know, I need more support. I actually think this is going to be super supportive for you. I don't think it's still something you need to worry about because just, just embrace it. I actually think it's going to be great. Like there's plenty of space. If my boobs were out here, there's plenty of space for that to be in here. So if you've got a bigger bust, this is, this is just fantastic. I say the least flattering body shape for this would be someone who's completely straight, small boobed. Um, this is a lot more, I'm gonna call it mum tum because when, she, when we've had children, it's typically the case that we carry more weight here, not for any other reason, okay? Um, I haven't had kids and I still do already have this. So <laughs> I just feel like it's very flattering overall um as a size 12 i think it looks great i think the back is really nice um, and then we could just do like a little cover-up skirt kind of vibe thing so i picked up this really lovely sheer cover-up just to keep i didn't want it to be too 
you know, mumsy. I wanted it to be a little bit sexy and this sheer cover up just does that. Um, so it's a lovely thin light material. Um, I'm just gonna do it up and I'll take you back with the camera so you can see how lovely this is on. You can also get shorter versions of this. I've gone for a midi to, yeah, a midi length in this one. I do think this is absolutely beautiful. Can you see how it just turns it from being a little bit mummy to a little bit like, actually this could be quite sexy? Look, let me know if you're, if you're seeing that. I, th I think that's what this does. Uh, I have also picked up as well a white short version. So you could also do that with, I've got a swimsuit I'm gonna pop on in a minute and show you. Um, but I just wanna show you how you can get this one in black as well. This is also quite cute if you know that's an area you're feeling like you just want to cover up a little bit more of very cute very easy just just not any effort like and it just looks really sweet and a little bit sexy <laughs> so the last piece uh, of swimwear that i want to talk to you about is this blue swim suit now this might be something a little bit out of you guys's comfort zones if you're watching this video and you're wanting to learn about shapes and sizing and whatnot. However, this is gonna be for my straighter figure girls, okay? Not saying it's only able to go on them because I actually think the model in the picture was much more of a curvier model and it looked fantastic on her. I feel amazing. Now, I actually did all of this in black. However, the link was the blue link, so I can see where the error was. <laughs> But I did pick this up in black initially. So this color is very bright and it's not really something I would typically go for. Um, the lighter blue that I showed you earlier is much more my vibe and much more into light pastel tones, not these bright ones. Um, however, I'm gonna put it on and just show you and talk to you about it as well. Um, and then I do have one lovely summery dress just to pop on just to finish as well. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty bright. Now, the reason I'm suggesting this for straighter figures is because the bust area, I am, again, I was want to say in my opinion because I don't want to offend anyone, but this is just my opinion and you can take it with a pinch of salt. I just think if there's too much bust going on in style like this, it turns from being like quite sexy to a little bit more, what's the right word? I'm gonna use a term that my mum or my dad would use, which is like tarty. So take that as you will. And that's not to say anyone with a big bust can't wear this. It's just, I just think it's quite classy on a smaller busted shape and size. And the straighter you are, I think the more impact this color and this look will have. For me, just not my cup of tea at all. It is really, really beautiful. And I think if I picked it up in black, I'd like it a little bit more. Um, so the one shoulder obviously isn't super supportive for that bigger bust either. Um, it has got cups in it that I assume again are, yeah, you can take them out. Um, and this strap here is adjustable also. So it's really lovely, very simple. And the fit I have to say on all of them has been amazing. I've picked up a medium in all of them. Um, now, if you're not feeling like you want to get everything out, like I said earlier, you could just pop on this really, really cute little skirt over the top. Just makes it a little bit more feminine, a little more gaily cute with the like, rah rah detail or the shirt would also look really great styled over this um, and i'm going to just pop this lovely little white dress on just to finish um, and talk to you guys about that but i feel like we've gone through the styles and shapes now of bikini sizes shapes swimsuit sizes shapes and i hope that it's been kind of clear okay so this is really beautiful there's not a huge amount of room for the bust in it I feel like the V could have been a little bit lower, just a little bit more material I could have done with here. However, it's got a lovely stretchy waist belt, which I like, and I really like the fit of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, I really like the back detail as well, and it's a really lovely length for your holidays. It's about a mid-axi length on me. And I'm just gonna pop this little straw bag over. So you can see how beautiful this would be as like a little everyday look. If I had a straw hat, um, and maybe some nice little tan sandals. A really beautiful, easy, everyday um, summer piece. Oh, this makes me really, really excited for the warmer weather, guys, because 
I have definitely got seasonal affective disorder. I am miserable right now. Like, this is getting me very excited for the warmer days, the sunnier days. Get them here now and fast, please. Um, but yeah, white for me is just a classic. I feel super elegant, feminine. Um, it's one of my favorite colors to wear in the summer because I really feel like it enhances any tan you do get. And I just love it. I love it. It's always been one of my favorite colors to wear. Um, and I think this dress is just really, really beautiful, easy, everyday summer dress. Could also wear it in the evening with some little heels on and a little clutch bag as well for an evening. So it could be like a nice two-in-one to take on your holidays. So I hope that you guys found today's video useful. As I said, take everything with a pinch of salt or if you are struggling with anything, please reach out to me. Um, I'm more than happy to try and help you as best I can. I love helping you guys feel more confident in yourselves, feel more confident in your body, feel more confident in your shape and like how to dress for your shape because essentially that is why I actually started my YouTube, why I started my Instagram because as a size 12, I really couldn't find years and years ago anyone I could relate to in the sort of modeling space, in the influence industry, which was very new back then, all seemed to be sort of size eight or sort of size 18. And there wasn't really anyone in between. And I just felt like, well, how am I meant to know what to wear? Which is why I started learning about all this stuff and talking about all this stuff and learning how to dress my shape. So yeah, I feel like I've learned a lot in those years. So I feel like I do have some good knowledge that hopefully will be able to help you if you are struggling. So like I said, my DMs are always open on Instagram. Anything else, please pop down below. Just please pop down below in the comments um, and we can have a nice conversation. If you loved anything from today's video, you can shop all of it via the link in the description box underneath this video. If you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much to Ratita for sponsoring today's video and I really hope it's been helpful to discuss, you know, how to style your body and shape and what maybe is best to help you feel your best. But like I said, that work does really begin from you doing the work on yourself. And if you don't know what that means or you want to start learning what that means and how to help yourself, like there's so many books out there and there's so much like knowledge available in the day and age that we live in. It's incredible to really help rewire and reframe your mindset around your body, food, image, everything. So yeah, I'm here if you need me, but I'm gonna stop waffling on. Thank you for watching. You guys are amazing.